Hey guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2012 BMW 328i Modern Line. As you can see, this one is finished off in a beautiful blue exterior, which just has a fantastic shine to it in the sun. Outside you can see, obviously you do get your body colored mirrors with your um, LED turn signal indicators built in. On the door, you do have body colored door handles, intelligent entry built into those, and you can see these are the Modern Line specific alloy wheels. Around the rear of the car, your dual tipped exhaust down below, some silver trim, then your 328i BMW badges, tow hook cover right there. Coming up to the passenger side, typical BMW fashion, make sure it's unlocked, pressed release for your fuel cap right there. And down below, this one is riding on a brand new set of Connie Pro Contact SSR tires. They are 225, 45, R18s. So you do have 18 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes on this one. Overall, this is just a fantastic looking car. And the modern line package is pretty uncommon. I think this is one of the only ones we've ever had. And I have to say too, these are probably some of my favorite BMW wheels. But you can see what I mean. Brand new set of tires all the way around. Up front, this one is just equipped with the halogen headlights. You can see our fog lights down below as well. Same goes for this side. Brand new tires. And coming to the key, this isn't the valet key. The modern line actually did give you a gray key back when these were new. But as you can see, lock, unlock, and then press and hold right here. And it will release the trunk. Go ahead and get in this one. Does include your typical uh, BMW key as I just showed. And as I mentioned, intelligent entry. Just grab the door handle to lock and touch right there lock. Go ahead, get inside. And as you can see, this one does have the beige leather interior, which the modern line does give you a couple different bits. As you can see down below, you have the modern uh, BMW modern door sills. You can see too, this one does have a beige steering wheel, which I believe was part of the modern line. And you do get some slightly different gauges, which have a lighter face to them. Down below too, this one does have the original all-weather floor mats installed. Go ahead and start it, put on the brake, and press right here. Go ahead and close the door. And just have the key fob inside of the vehicle, and you're all good to go. Inside, as you can see, this one does have a leather wrap steering wheel. Your cruise control, audio system controls right here. And in typical BMW fashion, nice and tight power steering. Turn signals over here, typical BMW fashion, they are the ones that return to center. Then over here, your wiper controls, they are automatic. And over here, your wiper controls, they are rain sensing. On the door, it's all padded material up top, all padded stitched leather around here. All four of your automatic windows, power mirrors, and then your power lock controls are right here in the center. Power mirrors also are power folding in this one. Just by the press of a button. Down below, you have some more storage, and then the modern line does give you the silver painted trim on the door. Over here, headlight controls, as well as your fog light. And then down below, you have some storage. Dashboard is all soft touch, high quality material. I mean, it's as exactly as you'd expect from BMW. It's all in fantastic shape, too. In the center, you can see the gauges, your fuel gauge, speedometer, tachometer, and then engine temperature. Down below, this one does have just over 50,000 miles on it. You can see the gauges. Like I said, they have a pretty interesting look to them in the modern line compared to the regular 3 Series. Up top, you can see your iDrive display right there. And then you do have two air vents, your uh, central locking controls, some different climate controls, and hazards. Below there, your radio, AM, FM, um, auxiliary in, all of that in here, CD player as well. You have your different mode, presets, eject, all that. And I love, even back in 2012, it does the typical BMW thing where when you highlight over one of your presets, I'm not even pressing them, just place your finger on it. We'll show you up top what is playing on that station. But all of your audio system controls, everything like that right there. Then you have more of your iDrive controls back here. Audio, menu, telephone, and then back and option. And then your different, uh, then your scroll wheel right there. You can go through all your stations. Go to the main menu, everything like that see nice and simple to use like I said dual zone automatic climate control heated seats for the driver and passenger as well and all of your different controls around there you can even uh, choose different zones for each side like 
If your passenger wants it coming out of the floor vents, but you want it coming out of these vents, you can even do that. One of the one of my favorite things about BMW, but all of your controls for that there. Down below, you have some storage, power outlet, two cup holders here with some nice uh, silver trim around them, your traction control on and off, and then your drive mode selector right there. And this one is equipped with BMW's typical eight-speed automatic. All the way up for reverse, down for drive, over for manual, and then sport mode, and then park, and it will return to center if you have it over. But you can see more of the silver trim around here, your parking brake, and then a padded armrest in the center with storage inside of there, USB auxiliary in. Seats very nice and comfortable, high quality leather, and the interior in this one really is in fantastic shape, especially for a lighter interior color. Up top, your auto dimming review mirror, garage home link, and your compass built into that. Interior lighting controls, as well as you do have some ambient lighting up top, sunroof controls and all of that. Headliner, it's a very nice high quality material. It's your handles and your microphone for the Bluetooth. Handy mirrors, which are illuminated, and these also will slide to the side, just like that. We'll go ahead, step out of this one, unlock all the doors, driver side window down, make sure it's all unlocked, and to release the hood, just pull twice right here. Also do have a trunk release down below. Stepping into the rear seat of this car. As you can see, everything follows through on the door. Padded material, padded leather around there, and some trim on the door. Stepping in, I am six foot two, and the front seat's where I would sit. So I can find myself perfectly fine in one of these. You do have back seat pockets on each side, as well as two air vents in the middle. And this one is equipped with the climate package, so you do have heated rear seats. You can see power outlet as well. And up top, you have your interior lighting controls, all of that up there. In the center, your armrest, two cup holders built into that. It's nice padded leather as well. Up top, you also do have your headrest, which you can fold down for visibility. You know, overall, this interior really is a great place to be. Inside of the trunk, as you can see, plenty of space inside of here. You have storage nets on the side, I believe your toolkit. Yep, it's underneath of there with your tow hook and everything else. You can see both of your all-weather BMW floor mats. This one also does have the all-weather trunk liner. And below there, you can see you get another storage net, more storage down there. And up top, this is all nice and lined. It does have hinges, but they go down inside of these compartments. Don't interfere with your cargo at all. Also, <laughs> we'll leave behind there more access panels, things like that. Back seat from this side, everything follows through. And up front, you do get a power passenger seat in this one. Also see your BMW modern door sills down there. And inside of the glove box on this 3 Series, as you can see, this one does include all of your original owner's literature, I believe even some of the paperwork from when it was sold new. Really wouldn't be surprised if there was a window sticker in there. Up top, your valet mode on and off, and this is all very nice and felt lined. And up front, you can see the halogen headlights this one is equipped with, as well as your fog lights down below. And under the hood, this one is equipped with BMW's 2.0-liter turbo four-cylinder. This is the twin power turbo engine. You can see everything under here is in great shape. Running fantastic as well. And this one is just a standard rear-wheel drive model, so you will get fantastic fuel economy with this engine. Get back inside of this one.
bring the automatic driver's side window back up. And just cut the vehicle off right here. You also do have your auto start stop on and off right above the start stop button. And headlights back into auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.